Well, a suspect in the mass shooting inside Lavish Lounge last Sunday along Whitehorse Road is back in the upstate and he faced a judge a little earlier today. 22 year old Jarquez Cooper is from Athens, Georgia, and is charged with two counts of murder, possession of a weapon during a violent crime and several other attempted murder charges. And you can see family there at that cage. Very vocal and very upset. CJ Johnson on the left, part time security guard, a construction worker, an innocent victim gunned down inside that club. This young mother of two babies, Michaela Bell, also shot and killed. Their services are set for tomorrow. Fox Carolina's Carrie Weimer has been following the story since Sunday. She's live outside the law enforcement center and we knew it was going to be heated inside that courtroom and it appeared it was indeed Carrie. That's right, Cody. It took no time at all for the judge to come out and say that she was denying bond for Cooper. Cooper entered the courtroom very quietly. He never spoke. He only nodded his head up and down. But the room where the victim's families were was very emotionally charged, especially when Michaela Bell's father stood up to look Cooper in the eye and tell him exactly what he thought of the accused murderer's actions. Jarquez Cooper walked quietly in the courtroom today without saying a word. It took no time at all for the judge to deny bond for Cooper. She then gave the victim's families a chance to address the 22 year old. The room was filled with raw emotion as several just sat and cried. Outside the courtroom, two of Clarence Johnson's children said they took a break in making funeral arrangements for their dad to be here today and look Cooper in the eyes. Still don't have the words for what I'd like to say to him and how I feel about this whole situation. We thought this was going to be difficult, but this has gotten so so emotional and so hard and so challenging to to try to bury our father just because it's, it's not something you know any child wants to go through. It's not ever, never something in a million years that you could prepare for. You know, not only did he lose his life, it was taken from him. So these three people, someone out there knows who they are. Someone's brother, someone's sister, some, we lost our dad and I will never get him back. We'll never get to talk to him again. Now, after the judge denied bond for Cooper, the father of Michaela Bell's children screamed at him, telling him the victims didn't deserve what happened to them. Now, of course, this is still a very active investigation. It's nowhere near being closed. Detectives are looking for the other three persons of interest. And sadly, this weekend, the victims' families, both CJ and Michaela's, Michaela Bell, will be laying their loved ones to rest. Reporting in Greenville, I'm Carrie Weimer, Fox Carolina, the 4 o'clock news.